Hello one, hello all, and today we're going in to show you the advanced techniques. I'm going to quickly give myself some money, and we're going to show you how to do priorities and overflows. So let's start for the priority. Let's say you have a line. This line here we're building will be the prioritized line. And let's say there's another line, which comes off. So it comes down here. You don't need to signal this. This doesn't. And we want this line to be unprioritized. So when you can hear, do here, let's make sure you have all the signals. You come in here and signal. So signal type all signals, right? And you want an entry signal here and a combo signal here, looking two ways. So the entry signal can look at it. So it's looking here and it's looking back. And then for a basic one, you just want a two-way exit signal, which means the entry signal is looking back to the exit signal. And there are two ways, I mean, trains can still go straight through. So what happens here is then a train enters this block, gets past the signal. This will flip red. This will flip red, not flip red, but it'll still be green for trains coming through this way, meaning that trains here will back up when a train gets to here, which means that this line has a priority. If you want to make it longer, just two easy ways. First one is to just do something like this. I mean, you can build it out a little further too, right? This means that a train in any of this will turn this red. The other way is to start it here, basically. And then, I mean, you can still build it like this if you're kind of crazy. And then put, you know, signals like that. Which a lot of times means that these don't need to pass, be pass signals. And then these will be red. Yeah, you know, red. Or I think you just need one. And then it'll be red anytime. I don't know. I don't really build basic ones because that's easy. And that's what I know how to do. So that is a priority. And this just extends it, which means if train enters here, that'll be red, which means this has a lot of priority. So that's a priority. Now let's do an overflow. Let's say you have a factory. This is a good station. And it goes out here. Boom. And you want to make sure that the good trains aren't backing up onto the main line. Let me just build some signals quickly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into settings. And this is a common setting turned on for a lot of servers. Set yep, dot rail underscore first red underscore two way ELL one. And what this will do is very useful. So let's say you have a train that's at six. So which means is this one? I think. Oh, I guess hopefully that one. And then you set up two way signal, which means when this two way signal it doesn't need to be nexus signal here, but it's one later that needs to be, so people just make this a nexus signal. I think for the more complicated designs, it actually does need to be, so. But for basic designs, no. Uh, the basic thing you do is put depot, which means when this is red, train will, instead of going this, because it's set, the, the setting is set, it'll say that this is like an end of line if a two-way signal is red, which means it'll go into the depot, and then your trains will go into the depot instead of backing up. It's much better more efficient way to do it because then you'll have a line of trains wanting to go into the depot and just build this. But out save space, but what's called reverser, which is just the fork. And then from here, normally people will do a numbers thing. So they'll either have it joined back onto the line here or they'll have it joined back to the stays, which normally I do it. And I, I built the stays in poorly, so I'm just going to move this signal so that this can come in, which probably in a normal setup, this would screw up, screw it up. Although it's just a six, so I mean, you have one train, and then no, 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 it, this would be messed up. But I just to say, you delete the signal, and then it's one train waits in that area. Maybe put a signal like here. There you go. So what we're doing here is just we're just directing it straight to the station, straight in. I'm gonna build exit signal and a depot. Now we're going to signal in here. It's one, but actually it nah, shouldn't even be that close because at least one train's distance away. Actually, it's probably just one train can fit in that entirely. And then the signal here. Now what this means, and this is the one where it needs to be an exit signal because the depot acts as an entry signal as well, which means that you'll see that and not have it just go out over and over again like if it was a normal one. What it means now is that trains will come up here keep going 
to go into the depot now, which means it'll be further off the line. And also it means if this is still open, it can just go down here, which means that it's a good overflow. And it's the design you use a lot for goods pickups, or, you know, goods pickups, steel pickups, and any other, you know, thing as well, you know, steel pickup here, you know, you got a sawmill, you put one in. Or if you just have a station that, you know, you have a lot of trains too, right? Like a coal mine can have an overflow. You see these commonly. This is a basic design I use a lot because it's it's easy to understand and it works. And I mean that's pretty much all you need, right? It's basic and easy and works. And so that's an overflow. So that is the two things we come to discuss today. Let me just bomb it. So other than that, if you have any more recommendations, comment below. I'm starting I'm streaming this game tomorrow from when this video releases. Uh, at Monday sometime. Check my Twitch schedule if you're interested. My Twitch is in my about on the channel. If you want more, uh, like and you know, give me feedback. And if you don't, then you don't have to do anything. You can just click off. If, but I guess if you don't, you would have clicked off by now. So other than that, I'll see you at the next video.